So, as I already discussed, chloram phenicol, okay, this compound, chloroquine. Definitely my body will be taking buried in the soil. After that, what happens? The 
bacteria will come and decompose decomposition process will take but this kind of medicine or tablet anything you are just dropping in the soil it won't decompose it will be present in the soil for thousands of years imagine you are taking it in a definitely the consequences will be there after 20 or 30 years because when you are disturbing the nature definitely you will face the consequences right so but what to do a person is getting typhoid or malaria better than dying definitely we take the tablet to save their life after 20 years or 25 years this tablet will show the consequences slowly the knee and the joint pain correct slowly the other kind of comorbidities comorbidities will arise okay so definitely disturbing nature is fine but we are all present in that kind of era they are they are they actually disturb your entire nature itself. you have disturbed the planet itself. so these kinds of things are right so you are studying chemistry so that's why it's starting at clear yes so that is why we are going to study this halal in the halal day to day life most of the medicines the derivatives of halal in the halal so this this is the general now what is halal in the halal is Structure. Clear. So 
this carbon and hydrogen bond this will be having a hybridization of sp you are saying this is having hybridization of sp3 and i'm asking how this is having the hybridization you are saying single bond is sp3 i agree double bond is sp2 i agree triple bond is sp3 i agree single bond sp3 double bond sp2 triple bond s
Mono halo algae. Seriously, huh? Mono halo algae. Now, C six H four H two. This is it as di halo algae. Now, C six H three H three means di halo algae. So this is how the based on number of halo atoms you have to name your halo. Mono halo algae. This is di halo algae. Similar one. I'm drawing. So in here, find it. Yes. So this is mono halo algae. This one. Di halo. Di halo. As easy as. This. Okay. So first. Which is attached to it. 
Okay, which is attached to SP, which means this is right here. So, here what happens? This is SP2 carbon atom. Clear. So, here you can see the double bond is present here, okay? and this carbon is SP3 hybridized carbon atom. Always just remember single bond SP3, double bond SP3. Okay? So, the compound present in the halogen atom. Attached to SP3 hybridized atom, which is again attached to the SP2 hybridized atom that is called your alkylic atoms. Here. Okay, so now shall we move to the benzylic halides? See all the things here you can be, you can see it is, it is that simple. When you are writing the IUPAC and nomenclature, no, at the time the real problem arises. Okay, so always remember alkylic. Okay, now shall we move to vinylic halides, no, benzylic halides. Okay. What is benzylic halides? So, here is it right? So, if it is directly attached here, means this carbon is SP. So, correct. So, what happens here? Carbon and your halogen atom will be placed here and your hydrogen atom will be here. So, here your halogen atom is attached to SP3 hybridized carbon atom. Here, so this carbon atom is attached to SP2. So, consider this as your R. Okay, so this is a primary enzyme halide. Clear? Now, this one, so secondary benzylic halide. There is no hydrogen atom, tertiary benzylic halide. Here, this one, so this one we have seen under the topic of on the basis of attachment of halogen atom with SP3 hybridized carbon. Now shall we move to SP2? Shall I rub this thing? After have a and what do you do next chapter? Let's go. So what your next book, what will be the next chapter? That's an organic. What about in inorganic? Huh? Solutions. Solutions. Solutions of inorganic. Inorganic. Right? Okay, fine. Next. Third one, on the basis of attachment of halogen atom. Attachment of halogen atom with SP2 hybridized carbon. So, directly your halogen atom will be bonded with the double bonded carbon. That's it. So, here it is divided into two that is, vinyl halides and aryl halides. Okay. So, what will be the example of vinyl halide attachment carbon? Now, you can see directly your halogen atom will come and attach. Yes? So, this carbon atom is SP2. SP2. Now, what about this thing? Are I halides? As directly, the benzene pin will be attached here. This carbon is SP2 hybridized carbon. Here, now shall I give some questions? Two questions is there. Copy, shall we go some questions? Yes, everyone. Okay. Now, 
See, if you solve the answer, please be quite a little bit and also solve it. Then you will get done. Okay. Yes. Name of name this highlight. And also this highlight. No, so far I have dealt with many things like that. Yes. Uh, in a highlight, not a new type of conversation that I am going to be doing. This is generally safe. Everybody finished? Finished? No. No, that's wrong. Ah, please try to say I have to say. B is what you're saying, B is in A. Okay. Tell me more. What's your answer? Alive again. Alive again? Okay. Then how do you say? Hey, you said, I already know. Hey. Now, how is this alive? Uh, it is not a benzene. It's been uh, no, this is not a benzene beam. Okay, fine. And this carbon atom is CD hydrogen. This is SP3 hydrogen. And what was here? SP2. Okay, SP2. Fine. Then it is not a benzene. It's not in a benzene ring. Exactly, all right. This is cyclo. Now, second one. Next one, we are getting into normal shape. Are you back? Okay. Generally, in writing are you back name, how we will actually uh, categorize things? First, we will maybe do the prefix. Okay. Next one, group name. And primary suffix and secondary suffix. In this way, it will be getting categories. So, maximum your halogen will come once it is focus. Okay, majority. The halogen block by this group name. And what is this group name? Number of carbon atoms. Exactly. You are almost right. This group name is number of carbon atoms. What is this primary suffix? Exactly, you are right. A, then B, I. Secondary suffix? Alcohol, enol, ether, anything like OH, OL. This will be your secondary suffix. Maximum, uh, you know, this kind of uh, allergen is present means. The secondary suffix, most of the cases, I'm not saying 100% it will not come. Most of the cases, the secondary suffix is longer. But in the rarest cases, so yes, that is also in the text I'll discuss. But majority, your unipacal nomenclature will be in this distance. Your secondary suffix will be very, very fair. Okay, so in this case, it is easy for you to write the unipac name for uh, this compound. What is the name of this compound? One chloropropane or chloropropane. It is easy. Now, what about for this one?
this should be your second last carbon. Okay, so in this second last carbon, three alkyl groups should be attached. Okay, so three methyl groups should be attached in this neo. So, well, how can you name this thing neo? Neo pentyl Okay. This is for neo. Now, last one is tertiary. That is pure. So, pure in the third, it will be, if I am taking an example of CH3, CH2. CH3, CH2. CH3, CH2. CH3. So, you can see all the three groups are similar. Why can't you name it? Name this as Neo. So, now your four 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 are attached and secondary colors. Now, you are this one is And now, in red, four carbons are attached to So, here are one carbon and one. Yeah. Three carbons actually, yes, ma'am. The balance of second carbon should be satisfied by all the two states of carbon. Okay. Here, halide group is satisfied in the balance. Uh, okay. Halide, halide group is satisfied. Okay. And then, other, other than that, neo? Sorry, neo pentyl. Will neo form pentyl group? Uh, yeah, in cases there is. There is. I will be discussing everything in the IUPAC and all. Don't worry. Yes. First, you have to know all these types of things. Then you are all your doubts will be discussed in IUPAC. Okay. Clear? Yes. See, what I said, second last carbon. In second last carbon, your three methyl groups should be there. Clear? So from here, if you are just saying this is the first. Right. One, two, three. So from here, what happens? This is the first carbon. So from here, first, second, this will be the third part. From here, one, two, this will be your third part. From here, one, two, three. So this is not a second class part. So this is not me. Okay. So this is her shape. That means R, R dash. Three different alkyl groups will be covering around the with your palate. So how can you name this thing? Tertiary. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And? Okay. Here, here, this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chloride. So, three groups are seven. Huh? Seven. Okay, fine. Uh, septile or septile, both are same. Six is six, seven is seven, eight is of nine, uh, ten. So, you understood this thing? Yes. Now, another one more thing is you are going to get into how these are all the alkyl halides. Yeah, that is number of. Number of carbon atoms, yan, iso means second last carbon, two metal groups should be present. In second last carbon, three metal groups are present in second last carbon. In second last carbon, three metal groups are attached means neo. Neo, right? Okay. So for secondary alkyl, for secondary halide, two different alkyl groups should be there. One nitrous atom, one halogen. Correct. And finally, tertiary. tertiary. Three different alkyl groups. Correct. With one halide. So these are all the critics with alkyl halide. So what will be for aryl halide? Your benzene ring in the cell. Okay. This for 
position and this position is called as para. Okay, this is your para position. This is your or position. This will be your theta position. Here. So this is your para. This will be your ortho. This will be your theta position. So by naming, try to name this compound. It's bromobin. When you will say it is a bromobin. So now, if the attachment is with first carbon and second carbon, then it is said as orthobromobin. Okay, orthodibromobin. If the attachment is with first carbon and third carbon means it is ortho meta meta hydromobin. Yeah, here it's para, see it's meta. Um, first is that ortho meta hydromobin. Today actually I have found out. Okay, so here, here also one bromine and here also one. So it will be meta dihydro. Okay, so one protein is here and the benzene. Now, if the benzene is here in the sense, it will be para dihydro. There is only one benzene attached to this. You have to name it as one dihydro. Okay, so these are all the subgroups: para, delta, or here. If it is trihalic, it is in use. Number eight. Number eight. Okay, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Now, it is like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One comma, three comma, five, five, five. Because here the electrons are symmetrical, equally distributed, but here it's not like this. 
Okay, so we, we will not represent as S by M. Here because that's least in the environment only, it will be there for only for a matter of like for a half. But this is stable. Clear? Now, para is still stable. You are asking me ortho, para, meta, how the principle is going to be or you are comparing it. How do you? Yeah, with this one. With trihalide. Trihalide are comparing para. No. Why? What's the purpose? Because you need to give the importance 
Time is actually six for six five. We can start with the practice. Five minutes. Already we have solved all these.
Okay, shall we? Yeah, finished. Yes. Neo, 
clear uh, any doubt uh. see remember one thing number of carbon atoms more than three more than three this will be a parent chain the normal chain okay if it is in your text please refer it is there here here what happened there is less than three so what happened this will become this will become your parent compound and this will be becoming your substitute clear with this one yes what is for this one less than 2 for that is not in a exact one in a exact Okay. 